Merry almost Christmas! Are you feeling festive yet? I'm feeling festive. Is your tree up? Fire? Do you have fire? Well, whether you're festive or not, let me try and make you more festive. It is time for me to deck the halls with Christmas cheer. I'm gonna find some mistletoe and smooch you. No, I'm not. I'm gonna jingle your bells. No, no, I'm also not gonna do that. Today, I'm actually gonna do the Joy of Christmas book tag. I Googled up Christmas book tags and this one came up, so I said, sounds good. The original tag is by Samantha at Novels and Nonsense. Great name. Good job choosing real words. Smart. It was posted on her channel in 2015, so check it out. It'll be in the description. Here we go. Number one. Pull up the questions on your phone because you didn't write them down. Joy of Christmas book take. Question number one. Anticipation. The Christmas excitement is real. What book releases are you most anticipating? I saw that Taylor Jenkins Reid, who wrote Daisy Jones and the Six and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, has a new book coming out in the end of May. <laughs> I've also got something coming out in the end of May. It's, it's a baby. May 25th, 2021. It's called Malibu Rising. It's about four famous siblings who have a great big out of this world pool party. Oh, and it's set, oh my God. It's called a historical fiction and it's set in 84. I was born in 89. What? They throw this crazy party in their Malibu mansion and Taylor Jenkins Reid is so good at this like interpersonal, drama and it's gonna be such a good one to be beside the pool in the warm heat it's gonna be just turning into summer so i just think that this is going to be just mm. Mm. so yeah cool number two christmas songs and carols what book or author can you not help but sing its praises you know what i'm just gonna montage this one so here we go Madeline Miller, Terry Pratchett, Station Eleven, The Name of the Wind, Haruki Mirakami. Number three, Gingerbread Houses. Oh, I should build one of those. I bet my kid would love it. What book or series has wonderful world building? So, I mean, Game of Thrones, obviously. The main reason that a bunch of people don't like that book is because it's so much world building, but it's incredible and I love them. I recommend them. Something a little bit less well known though, depending on your bookish circle, the Gentleman Bastard series. I've only read the first one, The Lies of Locke Lamora, and it's so good. I like the world building in this one because it's all set in one city that has like Venice vibes to it and because it's not an entire world, we get to see so much of just that one city and the characters and the friendships and the dynamics are all really, really well done. I really loved that book. So yeah. Oh, but I should warn you that our main character, Locke Lamora, is a little bit of an OP protagonist. Like, kind of like Quoth from uh, Name of the Wind. That is, Totally my jam. I love my quotes and my Gokus, but I know it's not for everybody. So just so you know. Number four, A Christmas Carol. Favorite classic or one that you want to read? I think at this point I have to retire Rebecca because y'all are gonna get real sick of me saying that, but another that I love is Pride and Prejudice, which super surprised me. I don't generally like romance at all, but Pride and Prejudice, once I got over the hill of the language barrier, just it's so old and the language is, 
it was kind of hard at first, but eventually I got into a rhythm and it's so good. Man, I love that book. And one that has been on my mind lately that I would like to read is Wuthering Heights. I have never read either of the Brontes and it has been so snowy and cool here. And I've heard that it's kind of got that cold, bleakish, just winter, chilly atmosphere to it. And I'm really feeling like I need some extra atmosphere in my life. Number five, Christmas sweets. What book would you love to receive for Christmas? I only had one really this year that was on my Christmas list, which is weird. I think probably just because 2020 was such a weird year. I didn't get to go to the bookstore and see like the release tables and the whole year had just bad vibes. So my reading really struggled because of it. So the one that was on my list that I know I want is Piranesi by Suzanne Clark. When I read the description, it's very Madeline Miller sounding and y'all know how I feel about Maddie Mills. Oh, and I should mention, I've never read Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which I've been told a thousand times I should. So this would be my very first diving into anything Susanna Clark or Suzanne Clark. It's Suzanne Clark, isn't it? I don't know what I said before. Oh, no, it is Susanna. I hope I said Susanna before. So Piranesi has been recommended for fans of Neil Gaiman's Ocean at the End of the Lane. Check. And fans of Madeline Miller's Circe. A check. It sounds like it'll be my thing. It is about Piranesi who lives in this giant labyrinth house that all the rooms are different and weird. I love weird stuff. There's one other person in the house called The Other. I don't know, it sounds weird and wonderful and I'm here for it. The other ones that I've added since then is I found out that the same author who did Convenience Store Woman did a book called Earthlings. So I actually really wanna check that one out because I like weird stuff like that. There was one more, but oh, it's Wuthering Heights. Number six, Candles in the Window. What book gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling? Warm and fuzzy, warm and fuzzy. The Hobbit. Oh, it's definitely The Hobbit. I love The Hobbit. And I haven't done a reread in a while, so I should probably fix that. I cannot wait to read that book to my children like my mother before me. Yeah, I, I love The Hobbit. Uh, come, join me over here in Shame Corner. I have never read The Lord of the Rings, the whole trilogy. I just haven't done it. Maybe 2021's a year. So there you go, that's what you wanted, right? Warm and fuzzy with a side of shame. Number seven, Christmas trees and decorations. What are some of your favorite book covers? Oh, my man. You are my man. <laughs> mm, my pretties. Okay, I really like, I, I've let them both out, but both of Alex E. Harrow's books have beautiful covers. Look at them. Also, the Children of Blood and Bone books uh, at AME, red and blue, hardcover, black, Children of Blood and Bone, second shelf. There you are. Look at these. Um, this book is incredible. The cover is beautiful. The one immediately beside it is the other one. This book's cover is also beautiful, but the book is absolute trash. And lastly, honorable mention, it's over here, it's down by the bottom, Cambria loves playing with it. Meddling Kids by Edgar E. Cantero. It's just got such a feel to it, you know? It's got that Lovecraftian, Scooby-Doo, those weird stoner posters. I just, ugh, I am super into this book cover. Thanks, Anne. Number eight. Christmas joy. What are some of your favorite things about Christmas and or some of your favorite Christmas memories? Oh, I think this is the last question. It is. I love those sleigh bells ringling, ding, 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 ling, do. No, I love all the decorations, of course. It's so much fun going and looking at the lights and the trees. My son is three and a half now, so every year a little bit more of that magic from Christmas gets 
put back into the whole holiday and it's been so much fun wrapping gifts and putting them under the tree doing his advent calendar baking putting up the tr like everything has that extra layer of magic now that he's getting bigger and ugh, it's been so fun that's my favorite part is watching the magic in my kids it's it's the best and one of my favorite things that we do at Christmas, usually, not this year, but usually my husband and I put on a private skate at the rink that we work at for our family and friends, and it fills in that weird time between gifts in the morning and dinner in the evening. So everybody comes, I have a big snack table and coffee and drinks and Everybody gets to skate, and it's so much fun. COVID has canceled that this year, which, bummer, but what are you going to do? It is what it is. Anyways, that's it, guys. Um, This is a tag. I never think about tags. I tag you. Specifically, you. Mm-hmm. I know. What? You don't have a booktube channel? Sorry. You're going to have to make one. Uh, I tag you to do this because I need some more Christmas joy in my life. So, thank you for watching, like the video, subscribe, and share with all your friends because it helps me. I will see you next time. Bye. Hi. Hello. Mary, hello. I did write a script, yes. Hi. I might need you to collect me books, my darling. I don't know, I haven't decided which ones you need to grab me yet. And it's got like Madeline Miller vibes to it. And uh, I just can't say vibes so much. What do you think, am I the best? I'm the best.